So, to make this origami, we are going to use one square sheet of paper, like this one here, but it's preferable for you to use a tissue foil paper, and, well, this one here is a normal paper, it's better to, to teach using a normal paper, but it's better for you to use a tissue foil paper, because the origami must hold the shape really well, like this one here is made with tissue foil, okay? And this one here is a Taiyunryu paper, it's not impossible to, to make using other kind of paper, but it's better if you use a tissue foil. So, let's start! First of all, you're going to fold here the paper in half, like this. Okay, and you're going to fold each part in half again. Well, basically, we are going to divide here this side in 16 parts. So, just fold in half each side, and then each line you're going to fold in half one more time. So, at at this point here, you can see that I divided in 8 parts, right? Now, we are going to fold here each line in half one more time, but the last one here, the last division here, we are going to fold to the other direction, like this. So basically, we are going to make a fold like a fan. Now, as you can see here, the paper is divided in 16 parts. Okay, now open here the model, like this, okay, and fold in half this direction here. Now unfold and fold only this side here, okay, in half, okay. Now we are going to divide here this part in half, only this part here in half one more time. But to make it easier, turn the model over, okay, and fold this side of the paper up to the middle line. Like this. Now unfold everything and it's going to look like this. Now you're going to fold here along the fourth line, okay, this line here, like this. And do the same thing to this side here, fold along the fourth line, it's going to look like this, right? Now you're going to fold this top part, making this point here go up to the middle line, like this, okay? And you're going to make, continue this line is here, this lines. Like this, okay? So, fold here along the next line, and when you do this, hold here this point strongly so the top layer is not going to slide, so it's going to be like this, okay? And do the same thing to this side here. Now unfold everything and the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to make a mountain fold along this line here, okay? It's the, the line between these two lines here, right? Like this. And you're going to fold along the fourth line here. Okay? And the same thing here on the other side. 
right? Now you're going to fold here this corner here up to the second line, okay? So only up to the second line and do the same thing with the other part. And do the same thing here to the other side. Now unfold everything again and the model will look like this. Now fold back here all these parallel lines, parallel lines like this. Okay. Now you're going to open your top part like this. And as you can see here, we have these lines here, right? These lines here. So you're going to do something like this. Here we have a mountain fold, right? We are going to continue this, this mountain fold here to this direction here. And then it's going to go this direction. And the same thing here to the valley fold and the next mountain fold. Let, let me show you how to do it going to be something like this. Make here the mountain fold okay, along this top line here, right? Then a valley fold along the next line, and a mountain fold along the next line. And if you keep doing this, the model will lie flat, like this. Do the same thing here to the other side. So, like this, right? A mountain fold here, a valley fold along the next line, and a mountain fold along the next line. And, and that's it. Your model will look like this. Okay, now this part here may be a little bit difficult to make, but it's going to be like this. First, open here the middle, okay, the middle layer, like this, and we are going to work here looking at the side of the paper. It's going to be like this. You have to pull here, I don't know if you can see here, we have this line is here, right? This one, this one here, this one here. Okay, we are going to do something like this. You have to pull along the middle line, okay? And you are going to make here a mountain fold along this line and this line here. So, This. And if you see here, we can squash here the sides of the model, okay, like this. And well, as you can see, you can't finish here this fold yet because you have to do the same thing to the other side. So. Just open here the side, okay? Pull here, middle, and make a mountain fold along these two other lines and squash here the sides. Okay, just like this. Now the model will look like this. Now fold here this three flaps downward, 
downward like this. And the model is going to look like this. Okay. okay, now we are going to fold here these two flaps. First, in this flap here, we are going to do something like this. You have to hold here like this. And as you can see here, we have exactly this point here with four sides, right? So you're going to hold here this flap and fold to this side here. So let me show you. It's going to be like this. Hold here this flap and fold this gap here. Right? So it's going to be like this. Right? So it's not really hard to make this fold here, but you have to pay close attention. Right? Now we have here. Now we have to do something like this pull here just one layer okay and you're going to press here this fold here this line here up to the end like this okay and when you squash the paper this fold here should be aligned with this side here so it's going to look like this okay so do the same thing to the other flap so it's going to be like this you have to open here this gap fold the whole model the whole flap in this direction and squash the model Right? Now pull one layer, only one layer, press here to the end and squash the paper. So the model is going to look like this. Now in this side here we will do something like this. Hold this flap here, okay, and this flap here like this. And you're going to press your this pack of layers downward like this, okay? So the model is going to look like this. And do the same thing here. Okay? So the model this okay now to make the hand the arms it's going to be like this first you're going to fold here this flap backward like like this okay so basically we are doing something like this making this fold here this side here up to this line here Right? Then you're going to fold this flap here in half. Okay? Just like this. Now fold here at this tip to inside this small pocket here. Okay? Now make a mountain fold along this line and a valley fold really close to the other fold like this. Okay? And fold everything in half one more time. look like this 
I'll make a small fold here in the middle just to be to make the elbow okay and do the same thing to the other side so it's going to be like this right fold backward like this fold half fold, then fold everything in half. Okay? So it's going to be like this. You're going to shape here later. Right? Now the face it's going to be something like this. We are going to have a little bit of difficulties due to, due to the paper because we need a tissue foil to make the paper hold the shape of the face better. But well, it's going to be like this. First, fold here, with this tip here up to this point here. Okay, like this. Okay, well, in this part here, you're going to fold here the corner of the paper like this a little you're going to fold a little bit more than the middle of this part here okay so it's going to be like this and do the same thing here to the other to the other side to make both line both sides look symmetrical okay now you're going to unfold and reverse fold these two folds we just made. Like this. Now you have to fold here this top layer. Okay. To this direction like this. Unfold. And you're going to reverse fold this flap we just made okay so it's going to look like this and do the same thing here so fold. always trying to make the model look symmetrical okay fold Now fold here this flap upward along this line here. Okay. And now you're going to fold here the tip. Just a little bit like this. Okay? And we are going to make fold along this line here here well I don't know if you can see the lines but it's going to be like this okay this now fold here downward and this part here is where you will find a little bit hard to make with, with normal paper. You're going to fold this back of layer like this, okay, making diagonal here, and you're going to fold this back layer here like this. Squash here the top part and fold downward like this. Okay, and do the same thing here. So we're going to fold everything like this, right? And squash this part and 
fold. Don't worry. Just like this. But as, as you can see here, the model is not going to hold the shape really well. So it's going to be really hard to, to make this part. Oh, but it should look like this. Okay? Now, This part here, you're going to fold this flap, making a curve here. Okay, just like this. Okay, so now we are going to make the skirt, and it's going to be like this. First, pull here all this this layer here like this okay and you're going to make a fold like this make a fold about this much here making a small square here okay and try to make this fold go up to this last line here okay the first line so it's going to be like this and fold everything back right? like this and do the same thing to the other side try to make both sides look symmetrical so want a square here So, the model will look like this. Now you're going to fold here only this part, okay, in half, like this, to the back, like this. Okay, so if you see the other, the other side, it's going to look like this. And you're going to open here in the middle okay. and press upward like this okay well the model the paper here is not holding the shape really well but it should hold this position here okay <coughs> so now you're going to open here the skirt so it's going to be like this pull here this side of the paper backward like this and you're going to pull here the first the first layer okay and make a fold from this point here to this point here it's like this and do the same thing front layer okay now do the same thing to this layer here so as you can see I'm just opening here the, the middle pulling the layers it's like this so the back layer we are going to pull here this and the front layer you're going to do the same thing and the middle layer is going to look like this so do the same thing to the other side and the model is done Okay, so that's it. Well, I couldn't shape it really well. You need a little bit more patience to shape the model. But basically, this is the model. And you have to shape here 
the arms to be well in the position you want it to be. I want I like to make it this position here because it is the right shape to make the the bride and the groom dancing here. Okay, so the right side a little bit more open and the left arm close it like this okay and the opposite for the groom and that's it the model like this so I hope you enjoyed this video next week I'm going to teach you how to make the origami groom and if you like this video please do not forget to like and to subscribe to my channel to support my channel and that's it thanks for watching this video see you bye bye